Hey, what is up everybody? This is Rob and right behind me I have my 2022 Toyota Tacoma. So here's the thing guys, right? The truck is awesome. You know, one of the things we'll be doing is I'm actually going to be raising it. So I do have the Bill Steen 5160 6112 shock set up. Uh, you know, I already have it as well as the Icon Adelie for 1.5 in the back extra. I haven't installed it just yet though. I want to get the wheels in first, get that all sorted out so it can all be done at once. However, I will say that I have been doing a lot of research about when you raise your Tacoma and honestly there are a few things that uh, you know nobody tells you you know it's really sometimes not as simple as just raise your Tacoma and you're fine you know nothing else changes you just have a fun raised Tacoma so I actually want to talk about a few things that I realized you know you have to keep in mind if you want to raise it so remember guys tune in all right We'll just say this is five things that you need to know before you raise your Tacoma. All right, you guys, upper control arms. What are they? Well, basically they're, they are a part of the front of your Tacoma's front end. They influence such things such as the wheel travel, as well as, and this is the important thing, your wheel alignment. Guys, the stock upper control arms, they can only handle about maybe a little under three inches of lift in the front. So if you stay below that, you know, you, you may be good, you know, may be able to get away with, you know, keeping on the uh, stock upper control arms. Personally, that's why I'm only gonna go about two inches in the front. I just wanna make sure that I don't have to replace them. If you do go higher than three inches though, you will probably have to replace them or else you will not be able to align your Tacoma. So please keep that in mind, guys. Replacement UCAs, um, usually it costs a few hundred. And then if you want to get them installed, if you don't do it yourself, it's going to be another couple hundred, you know, if I remember correctly, when I was thinking about it, you know, what if I did want to just basically replace my upper control arms just to keep everything, just to make sure everything is good. It was going to cost, um, it was about 400 for the aftermarket and then our $500 in labor. So do keep that in mind. Remember guys, having an alignment is always good for your tire wear and all that. So you may want to keep that in mind if you want to go like a crazy four or five inch plus lift, guys. So keep that in mind. All right, you guys, so time for the next one. So here's the thing, you guys. This is actually a bit more of a disclaimer. When I see on the forums and stuff that people talk about like want to raise your Tacoma, they kind of think that you raise it and you're good. You raise it, you can toss in some 34, some 35 inch tires and you're pretty much good to go. Well, guys, unfortunately, it really isn't the end all to rubbing. All right, guys, sure. Maybe you'll raise it and it'll be fine when the truck is stationary. But as soon as you hit up trails and all that, you make that suspension compress, you're gonna hit Rub City. You will probably still have to do stuff such as a cap mount chop, or if you're lucky, you just have to trim away at the uh, fender liner a little bit, that kind of stuff, guys. Don't expect lift, uh, you know, to basically be your hero thing, you know, that's gonna definitely save it and make everything good again. You might still have to do some additional work. So also make sure to keep that in mind for if you do want to do a crazy, you know, bigger wheel setup, guys. Keep it in mind. All right, you guys, so for the next one, uh, you know, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to basically accept that when you modify it, uh, you know, you're basically gonna be affecting some, the way some things work, guys, right? When the Tacoma was built by Toyota, you know, they put effort into engineering and all that, everything's supposed to be copacetic right now. When you lift it, you're probably going to be putting more stress onto parts that they're actually not really supposed to, you know, be st as stressed out because, you know, the parts weren't made for a Tacoma that's two plus inches higher off the ground. So that is definitely something that you do want to, uh, you know, keep in mind because that will probably lead to, you know, more things out to fix, you know, guys, the fun thing, modifying cars, trucks, it's motorcycles, it's all the same, guys. When you switch stuff out, you're probably going to have to switch something else out in the future that will then work properly with that new part. And then you're gonna add that part and then something else is gonna break again. And you're gonna have to add another new part for that second new part, all right, to keep everything going. It's, it's a never ending chain, guys. That's why I don't blame some people when they're like, oh, I'm just leaving my Tacoma 100% stock and leaving my car 100% stock. I really don't blame them. But you know, let's keep that in mind, you know, make sure to budget a little bit extra for that. You know, stuff that might be usually lasting 50,000 miles, it might only last maybe even 20,000 miles if it's something that's, you know, like really crazy, like you're going like a five inch lift or whatever. Just keep in mind, 
you know that's why personally the lift I'm going I'm trying to kind of keep in parameters with the TRD Pro lift because the TRD Pro lift is about um it's only about like an inch and a half in the front and like an inch in the back so that way I'm basically able to make sure that the truck can basically somewhat withstand what I'm going to do to it considering that Toyota had no problem doing that to one of their own models that you know comes right off the showroom floor if that makes sense. All right guys so this next one is a bit of a minor one. When you raise your truck uh, you know there's a pretty decent chance you will get a small hit in your MPGs. It's oh, it shouldn't be too bad honestly guys I mean it really also does of course depend how high it is and everything. You know think about it guys it's higher up the wind's gonna be hitting it more you won't have uh, you know the benefit of having air go smoothly over it I mean it, it's a truck right so it already wasn't too great so just know if you're one of the many people I see complaining about your Tacoma getting awful gas mileage it's it's not gonna get better all right you guys so here's the next one now this is actually a big one this is probably the main reason why I want to make this video because I feel like you guys need to know this is something that will probably affect maybe even more than half of the Tacomas that are lifted even a small lift like what I'm gonna do so Toyota has a bit of a design flaw on the driver's side, um, the axle design, right? The needle bearing that is in there, it's, um, it's a bad design, guys. And there's a pretty decent chance that when you race your truck, you're going to break it and then you're going to have to replace it. Now, like, why is this going on? Well, so here's the thing. When Toyota designed the CB shaft, you know, they designed it to sit inside the carrier on the front diff. But the issue is that the spider gear supports the CB shaft as much as the needle bearing does. So basically, we're going to be putting a lot of pressure on that. Now, of course, when you raise the truck, you're going to stress that out a bit. Because now, it's going to be more of an angle, and the bearing, it's, it's not going to be sitting in there clean. And that's going to throw off everything, and then you could crack it. You crack it. Well, you're going to be getting some really annoying vibrations, but even worse, you might actually send some shards up into the diff and then, of course, that's, that's just a bad day, guys. So there are some ways to fix this. Um, oh, I should also note, even TRD Pro owners are having this issue. Okay, and then from what I understand, some Toyota dealerships just have a whole bunch of replacement ones just behind the shell basically just okay here's our stack of 40 needle bearings to replace it under warranty so the fact that even the pro models are having this issue where you know you'd assume that Toyota would have you know thought about that before raising them a little bit that's a bit of a problem so what you can do is there is a nice company out there called East Coast Gear Supply they do sell you know a nicer bushing and it definitely doesn't have any play and it basically fixes that design flaw I highly recommend looking into that. So for me, I did ask and the install would be about $700 altogether because it's intensive, right? You gotta take the wheel assembly apart and all that. But do consider guys, you will probably have to replace it, you know, or at least there's a really decent chance. So you may want to just do it while you do the suspension just to be safe. But I've also been told, you know, just do what you want, you know, lift it and then just wait. Some people, they do raise their truck and they're fine. And it'll be fine for 60, 80,000 miles, whatever. And that's that's also cool. So it really is a bit of a dice roll, but it will. there's a decent chance it's gonna happen. It's just a matter of when. I have been advised, and other people always say also, you know, they prefer to just wait. So I'm just gonna wait and see if it fails or not. Hoping it doesn't, but if it does, well, at least I know how to fix it. So guys, do keep that in mind. You know, that's, I mean, depending on where you are and how labor rates is, that could be an extra grand, you know, towards it. And of course, if you're like me, you just you don't like having to take stuff apart a whole bunch of times because you never know what's going to happen when you're putting it back together. And there you have it, you guys, the things I recommend looking into before you lift your Toyota Tacoma. Now, remember, guys, like I said, I did a lot of research and that's how I found out all this. That's also why I'm going for a more, um, more minimal drop. You know, the Tacomas aren't really made to be these trucks they draw like a five plus inch lift on without having to replace a whole bunch of stuff so guys keep that in mind okay the Tacoma it's still an awesome truck you know sure it won't be the highest truck in the world but I'm still gonna enjoy it guys so with that guys uh, you know if you have anything to say 
Now, if there's anything I might have missed or you think I should have mentioned, you know, please leave a comment on it. I'd love to do a part two about this. You know, anything else to consider? Anything else, guys, please let me know down below. And with that, guys, this is Rob, and have a good one.